Hello you guys, welcome back to another vlog if you're new here. My name is Kaylee. I am just getting ready to head to Pilates. We are going to a reformers Pilates class this morning. I woke up with an eye infection. Love that for me, so I'm not doing any eye makeup right now. You guys probably can't even tell, but I have some like redness and irritation. Actually, you can kind of see on my eyelid. And I'm like 95% sure it's dermatitis. I have no idea how I got it. And yeah, it's definitely less swollen than what it was this morning. I was on Google just like trying to find ways to reduce the inflammation. And they were just saying to compress warm water on like um, a towel and just kind of like dab the area. So that's what I did. But I definitely needed a bit of makeup just because... You know, putting 10 minutes aside into your day just to make yourself feel a little bit more put together is a necessity. So that's what I did this morning. But I'm super excited about my Pilates class today. I don't know if I talked about it here on YouTube, but I definitely talked about it on the podcast. And I truly feel like Reformer Pilates has changed my life. Like, I feel so much more toned in my body like I've actually noticed some physical changes and I don't really work out like obviously there's a side to me where I do work out for my physical appearance but I think the main reason why I work out is for my mental health just because I love how it makes me feel and I really really enjoy reformer pilates I love jump board that's probably my favorite um it's got a bit of a cardio in it but nothing like too intense but just like the burn you feel it's so good guys so if you have a reformer pilates studio near you do something out of your comfort zone and try it out because it has changed my life completely like i'm not even over exaggerating like i'm obsessed with it i usually do about three classes a week and then i probably do spinning two to three times a week so that's kind of like my workout split currently i've been trying to work out like five to six times a week and that's just what my body loves and yeah i've just been loving it so far and i feel like I've been doing it now consistently. I did it consistently before the wedding, but I feel like since after the wedding, I've been like very consistent with my routine and just like the instructors that I go to and all that. And it's been life changing. So I'm obsessed. But anyways, before we go, I just wanted to add some freckles and I just got this Kaida freckle pen. I saw some girl use it on TikTok. Oh shoot, she's like, like literal paint. So we gotta like be really gentle i love adding freckles on my face oh wait this is actually really good i like how like it's not like very pigmented the liquid it's like very um natural which is nice and then i'm just gonna like dab it out so it like looks a little bit more blended into my skin cute it's like really natural which is what I love all right guys Pilates is done I am gonna head to two more stores for Christmas decor shopping I desperately need some color for my Christmas decorations this year. I've been a white Christmas theme girly for, I want to say the past three years. So we're adding some color to the decorations this year. So I'm going for either like a dark brown or a deep burgundy for the theme this year. So we're going to hit up Walmart and Canadian Tire quickly and just see what they have and hopes that we find stuff. All right, guys, I just got home and not going to lie, we did not find much at either spot i did find two things at walmart but canadian tire was kind of a flop it's so funny because i literally was trying to find these brown bows while i was there and this woman takes all of the brown bows from the stock and i'm like okay perfect like can't even get them now but then i looked at them and i'm like i feel like i could make my own and they would actually look better so I just placed an Amazon order of burgundy bows instead of brown. We're going to be doing some burgundy throughout the house. So that's the color I've decided that will go throughout like my white and gold 
neutral theme. I thought I'd do a little Christmas decor haul of everything I got from the States, as well as some things that I purchased today. So let's get into it. Firstly, I got these little like winter wonderland snow trees from HomeSense. I got two of them and I thought they'd look so good just maybe around the front of the entryway table because I don't really have much for that area. So that's kind of where I envision those two is by the front of the house. I got some bells that I could put on my stocking or um, my wreath, I'm not sure yet, or both to be honest. I actually got these at a little boutique in Pembroke, which I love because every place I've been to find like rustic bells like this are not giving rustic, it's just giving cheap. And these were not that expensive either. And I'm just obsessed with how they look so i'm very happy that i found this at a little boutique since we're adding some color this year this is like the burgundy color that i'm going for or something a bit deeper and yeah i just thought these were so this is kind of a little too wide but this is more of like the color scheme i'm going for but i just thought it was nice it's from walmart and yeah i'm excited to add this in the kitchen now some people are not going to say this is christmas bedding but in my opinion it gives cozy vibes so I got this like beige and white stripe duvet cover plus some pillows and then I'm going to add like Sherpa Christmas pillows to make it look more Christmas themed. But this is definitely like something that's different and I don't know, I think it's going to look good. I of course needed some candles. I got the same scent, the Fireside Sprouse scent and it's by the brand Magnolia. I got these two at Target when I was in the States this weekend. Zach insisted that we get a Christmas countdown, which we do not own. And I thought this one was super cute from Target. So we're going to hang this by the front door and then you use this little wreath to like change the day for each day. I then got this little festive casserole dish that I found at TJ Maxx that Zach and I, we played that um, guess the price game and yeah, I decided to get this and I thought it was so cute and it went with like the burgundy and cream colors that we're going for for our decor this year. For outdoor decor, I got this reindeer from HomeSense. I am obsessed with this reindeer. And then the last thing I got for the front of the house is this sign. I've been meaning to get a Christmas sign for my front door, again, for outdoor um, decor. And it says Merry Christmas on one side and then it says it in French on the other, which I thought was so cute. So that is my Christmas decor haul. I do have some stuff coming in from Amazon, as I said, that have more of a burgundy tone to it. A lot of burgundy ribbon, bows, all that, just to place throughout the decorations that we'll have throughout the house, but I'm excited to add some color this year. I think it's gonna look so good. And I have some DIY projects that I'm gonna be doing with my mom because I figured out how to use satin material and make a big large bow, which I wanna put on top of the tree. And I need to figure out what I'm going to do for like my stair ends. Um, like, you know, like, like your stair, you can kind of see right there, the stair railing, there's like two end caps. I like to usually do something. Last year I did bows and honestly, looking back, I don't love that for this year. So I'm thinking like two big bells or two big wreaths or something, I'll figure it out, but I'm trying to figure it out. Hello, you guys. It is the next day. I am currently about to do a little reset of the house. I've already moved the olive tree from this corner. Oh, no, this corner, which you cannot see because of the lighting, but um, to prep to put up the Christmas tree. We're putting up our decorations this weekend. So this vlog is kind of like a mix of a few days of my life, but also like prepping for the holiday season, putting up the tree, all that. So we have a pretty busy weekend of just, yeah, getting the house in order and all ready for the holidays. I have already put the living room stuff in a storage bin. We always like to get extra storage bins just from like Walmart or Canadian Tire for like decor that we only put out for seasonal purposes. So I've already done the living room, but now I have to do the kitchen, the entryway, and our little dining room area. So that's what we're doing right now. And yeah, I just like need to declutter this entire space.
fall decorations are all down. The house looks completely empty, but I'm excited to get decorating starting tomorrow. It was much needed to do a little reset and the house feels so clean. All right, guys, I am waiting for my dad because we are going car shopping right now. I think I mentioned it in a previous vlog that I'm looking for a new car. So I'm gonna take my iPhone with me. I'm gonna keep my camera here, but I'll get as much footage as I can test driving the cars and I'll let you guys know how it goes. guys zach and i ended up getting chicken pad thai takeout for dinner because it's friday night making some broccoli because balance i ended up going car shopping with my dad which i got a few clips and you'll see in this video we went to mercedes and audi and i liked the audi more than the mercedes i felt like the mercedes was very like dated for me i felt like that's something that i can see myself driving when I'm a mom, I feel like right now it's not for me. So that one I knew for sure was like not even an option. The Audi Q8, I actually really did love. I thought it was gonna be bigger than it actually was. Like it was very much a like normal SUV. It didn't feel overly big, which was nice because I was concerned that it was gonna be way too big, but it was actually a really good size. To compare it to the Range Rover, I still for some reason just have this love for the Range Rover. I think it's just because I find it very futuristic, um, like just some of the features that it has. And my dad's a huge car lover and he has a Range Rover and I'm like very much, I trust my dad and his opinion on things and all that. So I don't know, I feel like I'm leaning more towards that, but we'll see. So right now I put my car up on, I think it's Auto Trader and we're just trying to privately sell it before um, I trade it in because obviously like trading it in you're not going to get that much for the car So I'm trying to see if I can sell it privately and get a bit more money out of it But if not, then I'll just trade it in but I'm excited I'm hoping by the end of this month. I will have a new car. That's what I'm crossing my fingers on but we shall see but I'm excited because I definitely want a new car and Yeah, it just a new feeling is always nice so yeah, that's the update on that. Hello you guys, it is the next day. I have literally sucked at vlogging this YouTube video. I'm not even over exaggerating. I forgot to film yesterday and I'm so sorry because we literally put up the Christmas tree and I'm so upset that I forgot. But anyways, we still haven't decorated the entire house so we have a whole day of decorating. So it's gonna be quite a fun process. I don't even think we're gonna finish today to be honest. Usually for me, it takes me like three days to do the entire house because I'm picky and I'm a perfectionist and I like everything to look a certain way whenever I decor the home. So decor the home, decorate the home. I'm here with Zach. We're at Starbucks. We are getting a little festive drink because their holiday drinks came out. My sister and I, we tried them out earlier this week. Some of the flavors, not all of them. I honestly loved the new refresher the cranberry refresher was so freaking good i don't think i got you to try it because no zach tried would you try in the sugar cookie cold brew or whatever yeah yep and chestnut praline yeah i personally love chestnut praline that's like my favorite and they have a chestnut praline cold foam this year so i'm gonna order that what are you gonna get um some sort of iced coffee i think you should get one of the cold foams Sure. They have peppermint white chocolate, no. uh, gingerbread. You might like the gingerbread. It, it's not there's not much flavor to it though. I will say, but you don't like anything sweet, so you might like it. Uh, sugar cookie, which you got, and then the chestnut praline. And then oh, there's the gingerbread chai. No, I don't think you like chai though. No, but that's another. Last year there was a sugar cookie iced oat latte. Oh yes, the, that there's that. Thing? That's a still thing. That's good. Yeah, one. you should get that. I didn't like that one. I thought it was too sugary for me. Yeah, it's the same amount of sugar as the brown sugar I'm shaking espresso. No, it's the same amount of sugar, but I didn't like the taste of like the sugary syrup. 
I guess. You know, just give me a cold brew. Give me some sort of holiday cold brew. You changed your mind three Do times. a holiday cold brew. Hi, can I please get a chestnut praline cold brew cold foam? And can I please also get, oh, so that's for um, a grande size. And then we'll get a, do you want a venti? venti? Can I please get a venti sugar cookie iced latte, I believe? That's fine. Uh, yeah, that's fine. And that's iced? Yes. Thank you. Nope, that's it. Perfect, thank you. Cheers. Try yours first. Mm. Good? Very good, very sweet though. I told you that. Oh, mine is the best. That is the best. That is the best. That is the best. I didn't like this. Either. You would like this. You're gonna like this. Is that gingerbread? No, this is the uh, chestnut praline. I never got this one yet. This is my first time trying it. That's good. That's good. I don't know, I like this. Bite. No, I love this. Can I try yours? Mm -hmm. mm. No, this is so good. Chestnut Very milky though. You can tell it's two percent milk, not oat milk. Like that taste of the sugar cookie. All right. It's good. Tastes, it is good. Tastes too fake. Yes. Yes. Yeah, sure. That's exactly that. what it is. It tastes too artificial. That's exactly the wording I would, would use. It tastes too fake. This, however, I would say 10 out of 10. This is actually my favorite. I will be ordering this again. All right, we just got back from the superstore. We bought way more than we thought we were going to, to be honest. I realized that I wasn't gonna be able to go to the grocery store for another few days. So I'm like, let's just stock up with what we can to um, get us situated for the next few days. And then I'll be able to go to the grocery store mid day this week or this coming week. I am just like super busy with a lot of freaking shit guys. Like I, <laughs> I'm a little overwhelmed, but um, it's all good. I think it's just every time around this time of the year with um, Black Friday and Christmas in the influencer world, it gets really busy because obviously we're working with brands to promote their products for people to buy during sales and Christmas time. So it's just a very busy time of the year um, for work purposes, which I'm not complaining about. Very grateful. But on top of that, I also want to be able to like provide inspiration for you guys for like Christmas decor and all that. So I feel like it's just been so crazy. And then I'm also working on something which I mentioned in a previous vlog with um, a, another brand. We're doing a collaboration. So I've been really focused on that. So anyways, selling my car, trying to get a new car. As you guys saw, I went car shop with my dad in this vlog which I think my dad may have already sold my car which is crazy it's only been up for two days someone's coming by today to actually take a look at it so crossing my fingers that we can get it sold because I would love to sell my car and I won't have a car for a few days which is fine but then I have to find time sometime next week while I'm getting all this work done also going to get a new car so I don't know how it's all gonna happen and decorate the house for Christmas like anyways Everything always happens all at once. I swear, like, never can catch a break, but that's okay. We're gonna get ready right now so we can start decorating the house and, I don't know, just look cute for the day. So I got new glasses in, which I wanna show you guys, just blue light glasses, but I've been really in my eyeglass era. I feel like everyone's been really on that trend with just, like, wearing cute glasses for fall. So I'll show you guys those. I got it off Amazon, and they're super cute. I got them in yesterday, and I'm really liking them so we're just gonna do a quick glam and then get started on decorations all right guys these are the glasses that i was talking about they're from amazon and i find they're really cute i like them i have like the oversized ones that i also wear but this is just like a different look and i love it i'm also wearing this new sweater that i got from the brand park they sent me their new winter cozy collection and this sweater is so comfortable guys i'm literally obsessed with her brand chelsea did such an amazing job with just designing every piece and i feel like she's absolutely killed it so anyways i'll put her uh, business down below such amazing quality and i know it's a little pricey but if you're looking to splurge on something that honestly is going to last me a very long time it's definitely worth it and for size reference for this sweater i'm wearing the large extra large i like 
oversized sweaters and I feel like the mock neck just is very flattering in the bigger size and yeah it's like a good little Christmas gift to ask for too so this is what we have done so far guys I'm so obsessed with this red bow this was by far the best decision of adding some color into the Christmas ornaments this year. If you guys have seen previous vlogs or previous videos of mine from the past few years, I've been very much a white Christmas girl, white ornaments, that's it. So this year I felt like I did have to splurge a bit on some new ornaments and things to really tie in some color in the home. So the theme is burgundy and kind of like winter wonderland. So, well, bows in winter wonderland is kind of the theme, but I'm trying to add hints of burgundy throughout the house. So this is the tree. We have a lot of gold ornaments, a lot of wood, a lot of browns. Something that's new this year is adding a lot of gold and browns to it. The rest is kind of stuff from last year. So some silver and white, so very neutral and then adding a pop of color which I think is so cute. And then for a tree skirt, anyone that doesn't want to spend a stupid amount of money on a tree skirt, we just use um, Amazon blankets and we just try and put it all over the tree. I find blankets are honestly the best because you can fully like fix it the way you want to get it done. So this one's from Amazon. It's like 40 bucks. It's not that much. And I find it just looks so good with the rest of the decor in the house. And so today we're gonna tackle the coffee table, the stockings, we're watching One Tree Hill, obviously, and then this area here. So I'm gonna try and focus on that today because yeah, I take a lot of time just making sure that everything flows in an area, but I think if I can get the living room done and that done, I'd be pretty happy. Potentially maybe the dining room area, but we shall see. But overall, I'm very happy with how this is all turning out. It is much later in the day. My parents actually came over and we had a nice dinner all together and they got to see the Christmas decorations, which turned out so good. We were waiting on an Amazon order for certain things. Like we needed double-sided tape. We needed hooks to like hook the garland in certain places, all that. So we were like patiently waiting for <laughs> that stuff to come in and it finally came in. So Zach's just like, finalizing those little details so it can actually stick and stay in the places that we needed to stay here's another little space that we did that i didn't show but we have cute little trees going on here i did a little sleigh in the center i'm also wanting to use some double-sided tape to stick on like a little bow here in the center of the frame i was gonna do all the frames but i'm like we have a lot of bows going on in this house so i feel like it's just tastefully done here you done Oh my gosh, so cute. So I actually got these bows off Amazon and they're hair clips, which honestly, if you're looking to have the most perfect bow, that's the way to do it is just buy a hair clip and then use it for Christmas decor. So you can see I put a hair clip here, hair clip here. This area turned out so cute. I'm obsessed. Can't wait to take some little mirror selfies here. And then the other thing I added was this little sleigh that we got at Hobby Lobby last year. And then here we have my cute little reindeer. I added a little, oh, there's a feather from the couch. I added a cute little red ribbon around it, a little tree, a little house, more trees. And then I got this gold candle from Target. So I like how every year I kind of like change the assortment up i don't always do the same thing like sometimes i'll do something similar but different like last year i had these sherpa trees which again the house is kind of chaotic right now because my parents were over but like i had these sherpa trees there last year and i think it's just like so tastefully done and it just flows with the living room so well so yeah oh my god i'm so obsessed with this bow guys you need to do this if you don't have a tree topper or you want to try something different out like we had a cute white one from last year but i don't know i just really wanted to change it up and i'm obsessed with it hello you guys happy monday it is the next day 
I had a coffee this morning, got a bunch of work done on my couch. I was just editing two videos that I had to edit for a brand, two different brands. And then I just made some lunch and now we're here. I'm so upset because obviously we did the uh, half of the Christmas decor yesterday. I still have to do the kitchen, the entryway table. And I think I'm gonna save that for the next vlog because this was more of like part one of just getting the tree up, getting the other decor up that I did. But I'm upset because I cannot find a way to stick these bows with the double-sided tape. I think I told you guys that I had double-sided tape that we got in last night from Amazon and she's not working. So I might have to use hooks, which is not what I wanted to do, but I know it doesn't usually ruin furniture or or walls or anything like that. Like a lot of the hooks won't even be on walls. It would be on like a mirror, the frame. I have like the two lamps that I've been trying to stick the bows on and they're just they're not sticking. So I think I'm going to have to do the hooks. One last thing I'm going to end off with this video is some good news. And that is I sold my car, which I'm so excited about, but also like kind of shitting my pants because I don't have a car. <laughs> like I now have to like go buy another car because the guy is going to be picking it up tomorrow and I have no car. So it just means that my dad and I are gonna have to get on it these next few days and hopefully find a car So I'm gonna start a new vlog probably tomorrow of doing the second part of the Christmas decor as well as Hopefully getting a car and securing it and yeah, I'm gonna take you guys through the whole process of me getting my car so anyways, I'm excited and I can't wait to vlog that journey with you guys, but I love you guys all so much Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in part two of decorating for Christmas wow.